Hi there, Stephanie here again, and today we're going to repair the side of this Cabbage Patch doll. Looks like she had some kind of injury, I'm not quite sure what happened, she arrived here with uh, with it, and uh, we're just going to stitch it up. Nothing too complicated, using some basic thread, I had my stash and a sewing needle and some sharp scissors to trim the threads, those are my favourites. Uh, and some fray check. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with this, um, but I'll show you how I use it at the end. Only because this is going to be given to a little girl, so she'll be well played with. And I want to make sure that the stitching uh, stays in place, you know. Um, so I'm just getting my thread ready. And I think this is the most... Um, important part of the video that I really wanted to show you because if you've never done any type type of stitching before um, you may not it may, it may not occur to you to start your stitching this way so I always uh, it's one long piece of thread and I double it up and then I thread the two the two ends at the same time here and next time I do something like this I'll be sure to have my needle threader on hand um, so with the loop at the end, if you start your stitching this way, you won't have to create any knots, which just makes a cleaner stitching area. So just looking to see how best to start. And um, I'm going to start from the top there and go from underneath. And as soon as I have that through, then I'll be sure to make to have my needle go through the loop. And then that way um, I know it's secure, there's no knot required, and it's nice and clean. I used to cross stitch and it took me uh, probably a, a year uh, until I it dawned on me to start my stitching this way and uh, it saved me from having a lot of lumps and bumps in the back of my stitching project. So um, that's, that's basically um, the trick to it. And um, here, I'm I'm just stitching through and I don't know if you can tell if you if you can zoom in uh in in your screen at all but there's a way to do this where you you start um from the outside and then kind of do there's four stitches in place when I do this so that it brings the material together rather than um just a straight stitch so because I want I don't want that outside piece of the fabric to be sticking out of the stitched area so I'll I'll see if I can take some close up photos of um how my needle is when I do this and post them on my blog might be easier. I, I'm only using my iPhone to do these video recordings, so I can't zoom in a whole lot. And again, here, I promise I'll have my needle threader next time. Um, just starting for that second, uh, that second cut there. And I'm going to trim that little stuffing piece off just so it's out of the way. And again, starting with that looped area from the thread and just starting with a, it's a basic stitch. It's uh, not too, not too complicated and just put your needle through the hoop and then you're ready to roll. So I'm going to put this on fast forward while I go through this again. And you might be able to see the stitching a little closer here where I do, I, I, um, I have that come into to two places on either side of that fabric so um, it, it just makes it a lot neater and I go through once I'm done that area instead of any knots I just um, go through like three or four um, tight spots there and I just I pull those and, and that will that should stay I find knots lumpy and bumpy and I don't like to have those tails. So I'll I'll just snip this off as close as I can and this is where I'm going to put my fray check. Now this is meant for it's it's exactly what it says. Um it's some kind of chemical so it has a scent to it. If you're if you're allergic or sensitive to scents, um you may not want to use this. But it's not too bad. It fades after after time when you first apply it when it's wet. It is a little strong. It's a, it's a different smell. Um and Basically, this means that now that um, I've applied the fray check, it it won't run. That fabric will will stay in place. It kind of makes it a little stiff, uh, a little hard, but um, but it works. So there she is, all repaired. 
If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below or and check out my blog if you have any questions. Um, if you want to check out my other repairs. Thanks very much.